Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Do the Right Thing workshops were created to inspire and equip authors so they design and enjoy a productive writing life. Jody, Ran Jody Randisi of Cowcatcher Publications shares her expertise in this area. Jody, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Certainly. Baby. So, what's a cow catcher? Well, that's the name of my business, and so everybody asks, I'll tell you, it's a slotted metal grid on the front of a locomotive, and instead of removing cows from the track, I use the definition as removing obstacles okay. from the track. So I help self-published authors remove all those obstacles that they typically encounter when they're on the self-publishing track. So talk a little bit about being a hybrid publishing company. A hybrid publishing company means that uh, I ask my authors to pitch in. So I'm not a traditional publisher. By the way, I've been traditionally published, and that is a long journey, which many self-published authors do not want to do. It's finding the right agent, finding the right publishing house, waiting and waiting, and very little return on your investment of time, very little reward and royalties. Self-publishing offers the exact opposite. You're in total control of your publishing project, and when you're working with a hybrid publisher, you're able to get editing done and book design done and book covers to your specifications rather than someone else's opinion. So you're in total control of your publishing project when you're working with Cowcatcher Publications, but I do ask my authors to pitch in with cost. Everybody asks me, what about marketing? If you have a great book and you don't have any marketing budget set aside, it will go nowhere. So I ask my authors to either learn about marketing from me, get the tips on how to do it on a shoestring budget, or how to connect with a publicist, how to get in book reviews. And so I've turned myself into an author coach. Okay, so I was part just of my business. Say you're really yeah. coaching and training. That's yes. right, yes, part of my business. In fact, most of my business is coaching authors who have maybe stalled in their writing life or they have a project and they don't mm -hmm. know where to go and they have a cookbook or a family story they want to preserve. So um, I do tell people that it's, sometimes it's just for pos pos posterity right. that people want to publish a book. Other people want to get a return on their investment and then the third set of people want to go to the bestsellers list. <laughs> which I'm hoping for. <laughs> my book list could have a bestseller on it any day now. I would now. hope for that myself, yes. So who should attend uh, Do the Right Thing workshop? And, and so people understand, right, W-R-I-T-E. Yes. So, uh, and what can they expect? Yes, Sandy, uh, Do the Right Thing means I am very passionate about <clears throat> preserving legacies and great stories. So do the right thing is for people who have either stalled or they're procrastinating, um, perhaps a business leader or community leader that wants to tell their story mm -hmm. in a more uh, provocative way, mm -hmm. uh, to take a good story and make it better. Right. So the people that attend my workshops are mostly filled with questions about self-publishing and then the process is explained to them so they can make great decisions whether to get some more author coaching or whether to pursue the actual submission guidelines, which is on the website for me. I don't generally take a lot of submissions online. For me, it's a personal thing. Right. Cowcatcher Publications is my passion, so I sit down with authors and talk right. to them and more find out more. More of a one-on-one. Exactly. And so what kind of um, common mistakes do you find that authors will make? Well, one is very prolific in the self-publishing industry. I guess maybe you, you do or don't know about print-on-demand technology. Nope. That means anybody with an idea can be a published author for free. Create Space is an arm of Amazon, hmm. and if you want to do the learning curve and go there, you can publish a book next week if you have it ready to go. However, there's a lot of learning curve to go through, one of which is editing. Self-published authors are confident that they've given their book maybe to a friend to edit, and it's not enough. So my, as a professional in this industry, I highly recommend, and I insist actually, that you submit to editing. There's all kinds of different editings which I teach in my workshops. And then the other thing that self-publishers uh, make a mistake, they assume that the interior can be done by a template found on CreateSpace, for example. That's not the best way to go. Right. I get a little chill in my spine when I see a self-published book that's not <laughs> produced in the most wonderful fashion I know it could be. So that's right. why I jumped into this industry as a 
author coach, and an independent publisher. And very quickly, when is your next workshop? We are doing a workshop in Florida in February. So I travel to where I can stay. I have a sister in Florida, <laughs> and so that's where I go. We'll have all the information on the screen. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.